<laughs> hey, what's up, everyone? You fuckhead. That is the stupidest thing you interpreted there. Good morning to you too, Jay. Jesus fuck. Bitch ass. <laughs> fuck you. What the fuck? This is how you could be fucking greeting me in the morning? Man, you suck. <laughs> morning. Ugh. I like tried so hard to stay awake but then i just like freaking knocked out but hey we're here <laughs> so i fucking hate how youtube works because as i went to search for this specific headline it showed me like a frame of like one of the things and i was like fuck you <laughs> fuck you it's like, I'm trying not to get spoiled, and you know the exact thing that spoils me. Um, but yeah, yeah. Today, we are going to look at what the fuck is coming in NGS. Easy as that. And then I'm probably going to do like a like some tier list like i was thinking of a fashion tier list of what do we think of the fashion coming this month and then let's put it in a tier list because the main focus that i have on this game pretty much as of late is fashion because well let's be honest there's nothing else to really do but uh anyway yeah let's get started <laughs> all right let's see how long is the their intro two minute okay I hope it's not too loud. No, that is not loud at all. All right. Welcome back, everybody, to MGS Headline. Hello, everyone. It's 9 p.m., so let's get started with MGS Headline. It's really early, but whatever. The official navigator of MGS, and I will be the MC for this program. I will be bringing okay. you the latest info on MGS. <laughs> What are your thoughts on the new 10-star rarity Rayar weapon series that was recently introduced? If you haven't gotten one yet, stay tuned till the end, as we've got campaign information on the Hello, Rayar Ed. series in this broadcast. <laughs> now, once again... Campaign information about the Rayar weapon. Basically, we had like Ultra PSO2 Day and most of us already got the shit that we needed. And now they're just like, oh, we're going to have a campaign where it's probably going to be like, oh, you're going to get like more chances of getting a good fix up, blah, blah, blah. It's like, bitch, we already done that. You a month late. Not you, hero. You're fine, hero. <laughs> hero, hero is fine. We don't, we, we love hero in this house. He's just the messenger. Also known as NGS. We will also share details about exciting campaigns, peripheral information, and discuss the present and future of peripheral information. Recorded broadcast. If you would like to watch it in Japanese, you can check it out on the Japanese NGS YouTube. Probably check the Japanese version so that we can see what the heck they get that we don't. Which last month they had had exactly the same shit we had. So, wow. In this episode, we would like to share some information about the March updates. Let's start with a video. You know, I called this video February headline. It's technically March. <laughs> MGB. All right, new quest line. Is it? Oh. I don't know, it's, it's not a quest, it's a trial. Or is it? Is this just La Ciel, but in the field? Also, is the quality... The quality looks really crusty in the video. I guess I'm not the only one with a crusty looking ass video. <laughs> oh, 
Oh my god. Four additional quests. Okay, so okay. Downy dream. Ah, uh, loungewear. Cute. That looks cozy, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, those bangs look horrible. Why? Ooh, boyfriend shirt. <laughs> I too have dreams of going down. Yeah, that hair looks- the bangs look fucking awful on that hair. TV head. The slippers are cute. Oh, individual lashes? Oh, I don't know how I feel about individual lashes. Jesus, fuck. Uh. <laughs> okay, cute, cute, cute. That's such a very, that is a very silly idol. What the heck? I will go back after we like react to the entire thing and I'll take screenshot of everything so that we can do the tier list. Alright, well this is nothing new at all. Same old. Bring this, bring that. It's just, just another event. Pancakes. Mm. Okay, that's cute. Yeah, that's cute. That's a that's a new weapon. That's not a reskin or something. This this quest was not that bad. I remember this. We did a lot of this when that came out, like... Oh my god, was it last year? That, that was like a year... That was more than a year ago. But I remember we did this quest a lot. It was not a bad quest, to be honest. You still have a bunch of- yeah! That's- that's before they, uh, they made it so that you wouldn't need to use triggers. I- yeah. They, like, decided to stop using tr triggers for that immediately after. I was like, cool, thanks. Oh, weren't you guys talking about the Mal Quicksand outfit? Well, it's coming in this scratch. I know Effie was talking about it. It's literally coming in disc scratch. Ooh! Ooh! Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Dragon tail and dragon arms. Okay, let's go. Let's, okay, okay. <laughs> the mag is an owl. The mag is a fucking just a, a mob that's in the field. That's the fucking mag. Ring wedge? <laughs> ring, ring, ring. <laughs> ring wedge? What the, what the fuck is that name? Ring wedge. Bro, they really fucking said ring wedge. 
real fucking unique ring wedge. Oh, <laughs> uh, hi, new. Oh, new SG scratch. Ooh, yes, Ina's outfit. And there's a version for, for the guys as well. Oh. Hold on. Those horns are cute. Okay, so... Ears. Stretched ear lobes. Horns. Ed, you be wearing it, you boy kisser. Um, The teeth. The teeth just look like one piece of, like... Weird teeth. Whatever. Teeth have no definition. I guess it's better for if you're doing like cell shading. I I assume that the teeth are more for cell shading, right? Because you don't want the individual teeth to appear in cell shading to appear more any man like. Cause everyone's oh, <laughs> girl, why are you on the floor like that? Get get off! Get, oh my. Oh, Coomer pose. Coomer pose, thank you. What did you think? What did you think? Let me go through the details with these slides. Oh. Starting with this. A new quest type, the Time Extension Quest, will be coming on March 6th. These quests involve defeating enemies that appear in multiple waves within a time limit. The time limit increases each time a target enemy is defeated. Wait, so isn't this pretty much a limited time quest format that we, had, we do used to have and now it's a standing quest? Okay, this is literally... A limited time quest that we used to have like um, okay it's not the exact same it's not the exact same but it's the same format those those limited time quests were actually pretty fucking challenging so the fact that they came back as a standing quest is a hey. yeah all right I'm I'm not mad at I'm not mad at that. I'm glad that it is added to the game. Will be added. Lowland combat patrol mission and lowland extermination. Trying to get back into PS2 and so many things don't want us to. Don't just don't force it, man. There's there's not much happening in the game anyways. These quests can be accepted at any time from the quest counter, and up to four players can participate. However, please note that the regions in which the quests take place change on a daily basis. The extermination quests are extremely challenging, so we recommend trying the normal difficulty combat patrol missions first. The key to success lies in the photon boost crates that appear during the quests. Accessing these crates grant various ability enhancements for a set amount of time. Since the ability enhancements are granted individually, You'll need to judge which enhancements are best to acquire and when. Yeah, Tucker's gonna be in a good place with those quests. Force? Nah. <laughs> Additionally, there will be new title tasks. Can't wait. <laughs> Can't wait for the meta to be gunner, 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 gunner. <laughs> it's just gonna be four gunners. Hey, that's the meta. Just gunners. There you go. These quests. So take on the challenge. I miss challenge quests, but in GS format doesn't allow for it. You know, not really. During this period will be for the trainee. You're better off staying on uh Final Fantasy 14. Plus, there's a new event coming out on Final Fantasy 14 this Wednesday, which you can get the regalia um car, which is like a four mount car if you do your uh. Your 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 things and the golden saucer. Hi, Bast. 
So yeah, if you play Final Fantasy 14 and you don't have a mount for four people, well, boom, there's one coming out that actually looks pretty good. That require having a sub. Um, if you are playing on the free trial, you can still obtain that mount. Um, I believe you can, like... You can get to the Golden Saucer from level 20-ish when you do the main story quest. So you should be able to get the mount even if you don't have a sub. If you're just like on the free trial. We aren't partner. Oh, okay. Hello, Mia. Alright, so this is some of the fashion coming. Which, honestly... <laughs> literally sleeper <laughs> sleeper scratch it's cute but i don't think a lot of people are going to scratch on it honestly i might just try to get the slippers the slippers are really good i don't like the hair though those bangs girl go off your bangs they look oily who 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 thought oh yeah let's give them them very brittle looking ass bangs like girl your bangs look like they need to be washed is not cute you know when your hair gets oily and it gets kind of stringy that's what it that's what it's giving me the limited time event you'll miss the, the boyfriend shirt <laughs> The landscape of Kavaris, as well as Central City, are undergoing changes, with trees yeah. in various locations adorned in cherry blossom Also, colors. take a moment to- We finally have a weapon in the seasonal store that's not a simple reskin! Wow! New weapon! How amazing! Yahoo! Uh, beautiful sight. It's a reskin? Okay, but this is the first time we've seen this in actual... It's Gunblaze? It's just Gunblaze. See? I didn't play with Gunblaze, and I don't think anyone fucking played with Gunblaze because they were way too fucking rare, and by the time that they came common, they were already fucking useless. So I never really saw Gunblaze. They were too rare, and then they became fucking useless. <laughs> like it came and went like as a fart in the wind and could use your assistance don't hesitate to approach her and lend a hand limited time tasks and title tasks will also be added to this seasonal i don't think i've ever seen anyone use the gunblaze camo it's not that interesting for a lot of the weapons you can get a ta customization disc x omni Arms Refiner 2, Spring 2024 Special Scratch <coughs> and more. So we encourage you to participate in the seasonal event and reap the rewards. Items available for exchange at the Seasonal Points Exchange Shop include spring-themed build parts, portable holograms, and items required for tech arts customization. Additionally, weapons from the 9-star rarity yeah, the dress. Millennium Round will be offered as seasonal event weapons well her specific dress i'm not sure how i feel about it because it looks very like ill-fitted enhancement level of plus 60 potentials unlocked to level six and this time their enhancement level cap will be plus 80. furthermore the Augment Sezun Spring 2024 will be especially effective against seasonal enemies. Yeah, same, same, same thing as usual. Have you missed anything interesting yet? Um... Jeez. Hello? Where is it? Has he really been talking about this that long? Uh, this. 
We will be going back because I will be doing like a tier list of like the fashion and all that jazz. So we will be going back, taking screenshots so that I can add it to a tier list. And there is, a, yeah, there's a new uh, quest type. If you've played um, when they were having the that one limited time quest where the more you kill, the more time you would get. And then if you didn't kill the mobs it fast enough, the quest would end. Well, that is now a standing quest. That's that's the gist of it-ish so far. We've only, like, watched one part of it, so yeah. ...will be especially effective against seasonal enemies. Again, you can participate by taking on the challenge... <laughs> ...aim to reach the finish point while being careful not to fall off. And then, like, another seasonal event with an old, an old limited time quest that's coming back. But that limited time quest was pretty good, so I'm, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. The quest is actually using the open fields, too. Yeah, and it is switching um, daily, so it, it's a different region every day. And there's two difficulties. There's like different difficulties for people that are a bit more casual going and people that are a bit more hardcore. Unleash a torrent of floral fury upon you at the climactic finale of the quest. Come feel the first shoots of spring in this limited time quest. New limited time tasks and title tasks will be added that can be accomplished by completing this quest. So hi, Effie. Making multi weapons is pretty expensive. South Dash, spring 2024 will be added to the Just making weapons in general is expensive. Sweet waifu. Oh, ho, 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 ho. <laughs> Sam is. Oh. Is he okay? Does he need more fiber in his diet? <laughs> I think he needs more fiber in his diet. Get him some Metamucil. <laughs> He's drying himself off from a shower. Jesus, fuck. I knew I was a loud bitch, but I think Psalm just beats me because, like, yelling from drying yourself off from a shower. <laughs> He's like, uh, it's cold. Here's a mildly annoying thing that just happened. Let me yell. <laughs> I don't know. I can't forget. My brain is so like... I can't think. <laughs> Next up is the Spring 2024 Special Scratch. Oh yeah, Effie, you were talking about like one of the outfit that Bast was wearing and you were saying that it was from a mission pass and you couldn't get it anymore. Um, it's coming in the Spring 24 Special Scratch ticket. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's literally coming in this Scratch ticket, so there you go. Yeah. And other items are in also, this, this, this right here, I like that it's black and white. I will be getting that. La -la -la. You can also grab a new music disc, plus mission pass reward items that are currently hard to get. A full gen CV, my love. <laughs> You're a good weapon. Also, that's a Tissa weapon, right? Yeah, that's a Tissa weapon. Yeah, that's Tissa. Ah. I have mouth thus I missed screen. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. chances to draw more scratch tickets. So collect seasonal points and ticket vouchers to get tons of prizes with spring 2024 SP scratch tickets. Uh, okay, that doesn't sound so bad, actually. In addition to items like stamps and accessories, 
valuable items such as personal shop use three days and SG scratch ticket prize slips will carry over in the lineup. Okay. Notable rewards include accessories with sparkling effects. A mag for modeled after the Thames path. Yeah, I hope it can color as well. Also, there's a bunch of like dragon parts in the mission pass as well. I don't know why they're not showing it over there. Oh yeah, we have a new starless enemy called Ring Wedge. <laughs> That's the laziest fucking name ever. Ring Wedge. Ring Wedge. Why? Why did they... Ugh, I hate that fucking name. I hate that fucking name. <laughs> Ring Wedge. You can get a vital gauge design as a reward from the dual Since the stamina and attack power Grudge Born. Grudge Born sounds better than Ring Wedge. It's easier to take them out even if your equipment doesn't have the defy type. Ring Wedge. Same differences, honestly. Furthermore, the Defi type augment itself for phase four is easier to obtain than uh, 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 so if you don't you know, have powerful general. I haven't done any of the dual quest. I'm really that fucking baby. <laughs> In addition, the clear time required for a rank S result has been slightly extended. So if you have never played a dual quest before, this is a great opportunity to give it a try. Don't call me out. <laughs> Don't call me out, you bitch. Renewed resilience is packed with new items. Aina outfit is coming out. Avatar items will be in this ticket. And the yeah, it looks, yeah, it seems like they're going to make it easier, so there's that. So keep an eye out for that as well. Although not shown in the video, the Revival AC Scratch Ticket, NGS Accessory Revival, March 2024, yep. is also on the way. Yep. In addition to the reappearance of many NGS spec accessories that were previously available through AC Scratch Tickets, the Scratch Count Bonus provides useful items for weapon enhancement like Astrio S and N Augmentation Success Rate plus 40%. Enjoy character creation with a plethora of items. Those were the updates for early March. Ah, okay. Our next segment will have info on updates in late March and beyond. Cube. Sparkle. Ah. Here we go. March update information 2. Also, I like goofed up because my title I put February headline and then I was like wait no this is March's headline. <laughs> uh oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. Wait. This is an Idola scratch so if you've played Idola. February poof so fast. Well it is a shorter month so yeah. Alright, Idola. Alright, so this is outfits from another game. Hey, at least we're getting actual PSO2 themed outfit. Wow! They're not bad outfits. God, that outfit is fucking boob sock. Boob socks. Oh my- <laughs> The Popona outfit is available for T1 as well? <laughs> <laughs> Yumi is gonna wear that. Yeah, no, like, there, there's no front about that. <laughs> Yumi's gonna... Yes, Ed, you can be a boy kisser in this outfit. You know what? It kind of looks like your VTuber outfit. It kind of does. You can be a boy kisser cat. Let's go. Okay, the hair, the hair... The hair is not bad. Popona's hair, mm, don't really care. Not 
bad. I'm I'm okay with this. It's it's kind of a crossover with themselves, isn't it? Kind of. Hey yo, hey yo, the rappy poster. The rappy poster for Gil, cute. Papona's ponytail. Her ponytail looks scuffed. Okay. Sega. What's this? Who is that? Who is that? <laughs> Why don't we get the shirtless man? I don't know. But we have we we can have him as a poster, I guess, Christian Mark. It would have been nice to have his outfit though. The Wappies. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. <laughs> this is borderline illegal. Bro, bro. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know how I feel about that. That's a really cute mag form. What the heck? That was a really cute. <laughs> that was a cute. Oh, new rod. Need, 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 need. Infinite. Oh, boots, 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 boots. Yeah, I need the boots. Fuck. Where's Yumi? We need. <laughs> Yumi, Yumi, scratch for all of us. Scratch for all of us. Yumi, give us the shit. <laughs> just gonna go to Yumi and just be like, "Open up your wallet, boy. You're gonna pay for both of your mama's glamour." <laughs> His mom just bullying him into spending money. <laughs> oh, jeez, panty shot. Whoa, chill, bruv. Hi, Gil. Yo, Gil, did you see there were rappy posters? There were rappy posters. Right around here. Right there. Look, a rappy. There you go. Here's the content for Gil. Here's all the content for Gil. From base? Oh, it is. Oh, okay. Weapon reflection. Mm, cool. Mugen no Kiseki. Hey, we get a song. Woo! Oh! Not only do we have the NGS version, we have the revival of the base version. So, two for one, baby. Why is it PSO2 specs? Because it is a scratch that already existed. You forget I watched the headline when it airs. Yeah, I forget. Yeah, it sucks that it's not NGS specs. Like, they could have li quite literally taken this scratch and made it all NGS specs. I don't know why they didn't do that. Is that Popon? See? Hot dude. That that's The hot dude is there, but he's in base specs. Damn. Why can't we have him in PSO2 specs? Yes, I know, right? Oh, those poses. I have a lot of those poses, so that's where this came from. Okay. 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 Now I know where it came from. A quest in La Ciel. Wait, 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 wait. 
a quest in La Ciel, up to eight players to face off against Starless enemies. Hold up. Hold up. Let, let them cook. La Ciel limited time quest? Okay, this might actually be fucking fun. Guys, I think I might farm this one. That legitimately looks fun. <laughs> that cute hat. The cooking very little. Well, for that specific limited time quest, I'll let them cook. The hat is cute. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, that's pretty. What the fuck? That's gorgeous. <laughs> Funny motion. Oh. AC. Oh, Easter. There you go. There's the. Jeez, they're really going with the femboy outfits this fucking month. Like, how many outfits for the T1s have been very femboy leaning? Sam is gonna be so mad. Yeah, no, there's there's absolutely like nothing masculine. All the T1 outfits are very femboy leaning, very feminine. Well, because the other two T1 outfits that we've gotten is pretty much T2 outfits, but reskinned for T1. So yeah, but I kind of like the hat though, little little bunny, a white rabbit moment going on. It's cute. Okay, it looks yeah. It's just a T2 outfit and reskin for T1. Called it. That's that's the theme for this month. Another bunny outfit. Okay. Yeah, that dress. I don't know. That dress could have a little more going on. Just, just a little more. I like the hair. Okay. We can get the boots separately. I'm happy with that. I'm pleased with getting boots. And we have we have little loafers that we can get separately. I'm gonna have a hard time making these T1 fits work. Mm. There's no T1 outfits, honestly. Oh, those wings are actually pretty. Why is that sword an accessory? Make that as a camo, what the fuck? Oh, little necktie, okay, cool. What the fuck is that face accessory? Also, those eyes kind of look crazy, the cat eyes, what the heck? <laughs> we already have it as a camo, oh. I made Manon's new outfit work on T1 and Sega took that personal, mm, yeah. Socks. Tattoos. See, the thing with tattoos on NGS is that it always looks painted as fuck. It just looks like body paint, like not like actual tattoos. Also, yay, overdrawn lipstick once again. Oh, can't have anything nice. Splatoon? Splatoon? Who put Splatoon in my PSO2? What the fuck? Eye beams? Okay, that's a weird fucking emote. Rabbit dance. They're just taking... I really fucking hate that they're just taking emotes and making them as idols. It's fucking redundant. If you already have them as an emote, why the fuck would you need them as an idol? I hate that shit. Make new fucking idols. Stop recycling emotes, you lazy ass motherfuckers. Like, holy fucking shit. I hate this game sometimes. They're so fucking lazy in every fucking aspect of the game even their monetization is fucking lazy now come on 
If you want me to pay money, at least give me something that's worth fucking paying. What the fuck is that? <laughs> what? What the fuck is that? I don't like that. Egg. That's a weird fucking egg. Nah. I'm getting really fucking annoyed with all the emotes being recycled as fucking idols. It's. Let's get mm -mm. Of the updates with some slides. First, allow me to introduce the new AC Scratch ticket, Echoes of Idola. Avatar items that let Idola. you play as Yuli, Stella, and Giselle. I don't know why you're talking about this plenty of T1 outfits this month. I think this T1 outfit is the only fucking like acceptable T1 outfit that came out this month. Those dudes, the only fucking T1 outfit that's like actual T1. The Revival AC Scratch Ticket, Memories of Idola, is also Okay, that hat is fucking fire, though. You can get hmm. items from Idola Fantasy Star Saga that were previously released in PSO2. In addition to outfits and emotes, there are mag evolution devices, additional voices, accessories, and much more. Okay. So be sure to check it out. Hmm. We'll be holding Ark's record for a limited time field race starting March 20. I don't care about the Ark's record, to be honest. Simply by playing South Tavares Dash Spring 2024 solo, and all classes can join in. I never really cared about the Ark's record. What T1 outfit? There's only one T1 outfit that came out that, like, actually is a t1 outfit and not a t2 outfit that's been reskid for t1 metal box this new metal box ah. environmental testing zone cleanup op will be available starting march 27th this quest is set inside lucille from chapter five Le ciel. and allows up to eight players to fight together against enemies from Elio and Retum, as well as Starla. This limited time quest looks interesting. The boss enemy that spawns at the end changes randomly, so you can play it again and again. More Le ciel content, the only fucking the content in the game that felt good. Little dungeon run with a random boss, mm-hmm. Record for participation so I can get SG. Oh, yeah. I think the only one other than that one that are masculine is the revival scratch outfits. Yeah, pretty much. In the second half of the event, new items, some material <coughs> items, and augment capsules will be added to the seasonal points exchange shop. So be sure to give it another look. This week's Cannonball Strike for solo and all classes. You can participate simply by taking on the challenge during the event. Aim for a high score by making full use of the throw action. Yeah, we're already at the end of the month. <laughs> Next, we have the new for March. Easter Festival. The Beam Eyes emote is kind of weird. It's kind of weird. Check out the Scratch Count bonus for alternate versions of the Easter Egg EX Glide and Dash Motion Change items included in the Scratch Ticket prizes. That concludes the update information for today. Moving on to the next segment. Super Sentai. Yeah. For this segment, the NGS Operation Report, I Hero Arrive selects questions and comments from the players to bring to the development and live operation team and bring All right, question segment. 
I also have a letter from the developers to share with you. Oh, okay, cool. We'll start with a letter from the developers. A message <clears throat> from the dev team to the players. Yeah, what are they gonna say this time? Allow me to read their letter to you. We would like to thank all the ARCs out there for continuing to play NGS. Mm -hmm. In this letter, we will provide information on the intended implementation of updates introduced in this program and our plans for future improvements. First, we'd like to tell you about the design intent behind the time extension quest planned for release on March well, the design intention of this is literally a limited time quest that you've decided to turn into a standing quest. That is pretty obvious. Six. We designed these to be new high difficulty quests in the vein of dual quests and dark falls fights. Okay. After hearing from many of you that you'd like high difficulty quests to have a difficulty level for practice runs. They cannot make up their minds. They're like, oh, we want to cater to casual players. Oh, but at the same time, we want to cater to very fucking diehard players. It's like... They can't make up their mind whether they want to gather to a casual audience or a hardcore audience. This it's like there's no in between. It's either casual or hardcore, and it it's a bit confusing what they're trying to do with the game, because they themselves don't seem to know what the fuck they want out of this game. For these quests, we've included two different difficulty levels, normal and hard, on a trial basis. We'll adjust our approach to high difficulty quests based on how these quests are played. Mm. The normal difficulty version finishes at wave Trying to make everyone feel shafted, well, they don't need to try hard for that. And beyond, with corresponding jumps in difficulty and reward. Be sure to take a stab at the hard difficulty <coughs> version after completing it on normal difficulty. Next, we would like to show you some of the equipment enhancement related updates that we are looking into for future updates. Oh. In response to the many comments and requests that we have received. What does that mean? A recent update made it possible to add preset skills to weapons without them, and we've received a lot of requests to also allow players to change these preset skills after they have been added. Okay. We're currently working on a plan to accommodate this. Next, in a future update, we plan to improve the item enhancement process by allowing C and Emio to be directly selected as a material. This should reduce the time and effort spent on exclusive rerolling fixes. Yeah, I think this is pretty much what it is. But, um, my gripe with that is that if you re-roll a fixer, does it just keep you at level 1? Or, let's say you have a fixer level 4 and you want to re-roll do you keep at level four or does it put you back to level one because if it just keeps you at level one no matter what level you previously were at then that way people won't be able to take advantage of buying a cheaper less good fixa and then re-rolling until they get what they want so it's like hmm yeah, but it's just things to consider because the player base will take advantage of anything that's given to them. And the devs will just make it impossible for us to get anything good, so... Yeah, if I get a good fix on a weapon I don't use, I want to be able to put it on a weapon I use. Yeah, I want to be able to put fixes on weapons regardless of them being the actual weapon that I'm using. If it's the same 
branch of weapon if if it's a virch versus a virch i want to be able to add this virch's weapon to my virch weapon and so on like if it's the same weapon name then allow me to be able to do those changes i don't want it to be specifically like if you use rod you need a rod nothing else is gonna work yeah more flexibility they 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 sell this like multi-weapon multi-class dream but they make it really fucking difficult for you to be able to play with more than one weapon or class because if you want to have any semblance of like not wasting your fucking money on every fucking thing that comes out a lot of the time, you can't afford to play with more than one fucking weapon. Because it gets fucking expensive at this point. Like, someone did the math in the uh, creator Discord, and I remember it was, like, almost 4 million just to, like, max out the stats of a new weapon, not including augments or, like, fixes and stuff like that. And it's... It's expensive. It's freaking fucking expensive nowadays I love that they fixed hoarding multiple copies of equipment by making augments their own items and immediately added the problem back through fixes yep yep they never learn that's all for today's letter from the developers but we have a special treat for you here at the end a sneak peek video of the standing ultra high difficulty party quest planned for release in April, announced on the roadmap at the end of last year. Enjoy! Well, to be honest, it's the same pain because whether you're in game or fashion, you're always gonna have to fucking switch it up. <laughs> I'm the opinion that gearing needs a total overall, considering how many systems the game barely... There's... Like... I know that from base to NGS, it's been more streamlined, but it's still a fucking, like, messy thing. Oh, Solosi! Hello, Solosi. We meet again. Rampage. Ooh. Yay, a new Solus quest. Cool. Come on, Ash. You're better than that. Oh, you can use big guns in this one. Okay. I love the previews where the players just get smashed. Yeah, that, that makes me feel really fucking confident. <laughs> Here, we'll show you the preview of, like, every player playing absolutely dog shit. It's like, no, like, show me, like, cool shots of you actually kicking ass. I'm sorry, but just looking at a fight where a player just continuously gets his ass kicked, that doesn't look fun. Average player experience. Yeah, if you're a pug player. <laughs> Everyone knows that you shouldn't be... You, sh you, sh you should be expert matchmaking, not pug making. Uh-uh. That was the letter from the developers. Like, okay, cool. New Dark Falls. But how is that going to feel when we play it? Oh, so that's not coming in March. Okay, cool. I have answers from the development and live operations teams to player questions. It's just a tease. Here is the first one. Whether or not boss enemies are randomly made into Megalotics <laughs> due to Megalotics challenge settings for cocoons and other areas affects the results of ARC's records. Can something be done about this? Here is their answer. What? I don't understand this quest. To resolve this issue, uh, th this question, not this quest. Always make Megalotics setting to the challenge setting. We are also considering 
arcs record related. Oh, okay, then that makes sense that I don't know what they're talking about. Enemy attack powers to make them easier to use when playing. I don't care about the arcs record. Around April. <laughs> Let's move on to the next question. Random mega enemy which affects like the boss. Oh, okay. About the new field that was introduced in the preview video in the December 2023 broadcast. You know what? Hey, oh my god, a question that might actually be from the actual fucking player base. Legit. Wow. You can have a run where the boss isn't mega and it goes way faster. Oh. But if the boss is mega, then that's... Okay. Thanks for explaining. Overall, it's about the same size as South Retum and is composed of three zones with significantly different landscapes. Okay. Two of which will be unlocked when it is first released. Most enemies that appear will be starless, though we plan to release some new enemies as well. The special quests are currently being worked on, but play will combine exploration and combat sectors. So they plan to make it an actual full region. The same level of expertise as Lucille exploration. That was what they shared. I hope you're looking. Wait, so they mentioned La Ciel Exploration. La Ciel Exploration is more of like a standing quest. But then they mentioned that there would be exploration and combat zones. So is it a new open field or is it a standing quest? What is it? Because those are like different statements. That really didn't answer anything. They really gave a fucking non-answer. The only thing that was actual information here was the size of the area. Looking forward to this new field. Where can I post my comments and requests so that they can be reflected in the game's improvements and... <laughs> Where can I make a comment so you guys can ignore me as usual? <laughs> Correction. Here is our game's answer. The fact that that's a player question three years in is very There's sad. No specific place for posting feedback that will make it easier for your comments to be picked up by the team. <laughs> they pretty much said we don't read it. <laughs> it doesn't matter where you post. We don't read it. <laughs> That's <laughs> literally what they just said. The developers and live operations teams look at a weekly compilation mm. of posts from the miscellaneous issues, questions, section on the support page of the... That's so fucking, site. so fucking funny. Posts with hashtags on X and other social media and topics on the official Discord, then have a discussion and consider how to respond. No, you don't. <laughs> we also look at the opinions and reactions in the chat to what is presented during NGS headlines, as nah. well as the comments we receive after the broadcast. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. It's been three years. You may not be able to respond to your comments or requests if there is a possibility that they may cause new problems with the game, or if they would affect the schedule for new content development or improvements that we need to prioritize. Like, it's been three years, and you've, like, reg regularly shown that you don't listen to us, so why should we believe that that would be any different with this fucking question? Your actions speak louder. That was what they had to say. That's all for our Q&A today. Hydrate. Fuck, I just ran out of water. What do you do this to me? I need to go get watered out. <laughs> and my phone fucking going off. Bitch! Fucking hate you all. Fucking hate y'all.
and fucking happening at once. Holy shit. Okay, 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 okay. <sighs> okay. <sighs> Happy? Oh, god damn it. Moving forward, we will continue to select and bring your questions mm -mm -mm -mm. to the I saw and operations teams and share their answers. What? Oh, yeah, I can do that. <laughs> share your thoughts and opinions about this program and the game using the hashtag MGS headline. Thank you for the posture check. <laughs> Moving on to the next segment. <laughs> now let's move on from updates and talk about some other NGS related info. I'm sure it will get you even more hyped to play the game. Will it? Let's start with this. I'm not feeling it. An NGS store page is currently available on Coda Shop for some regions. What is Coda Shop? AC can be purchased through a variety of payment options such as credit cards as well as through digital wallets convenience store payments mm. and internet banking well we hope doesn't matter to me personally please note that ac purchased from this store cannot be used on playstation 4 <coughs> next i would like to introduce a campaign we will be having a rare drop rate plus 150 percent campaign starting february 28th Okay. In Kavar's exploration and combat sectors, a rare drop rate plus 150% boost will be applied, making it even easier to gather exchange materials during this time. Why can you make that an actual thing while we were having Ultra PSO2 Day, you fucking bitch? Pussy. Also, in the Rayar Series Exchange Support Campaign Part 1, being held at the same time, you can get the exchange materials for one Rayar series weapon by completing all the limited time tasks. If you haven't gotten your hands on one yet, now most of us already have Rayar. Hmm. Plus, from March, the boost rates for PSO2 Day and premium user PSO2 Day will be powered up. Okay, they finally realized that the old RDR for, like, regular PSO2 days is, like, almost, like, utterly redundant. So the fact that going forward it's going to get boosted is good, but it's still not enough. <laughs> there will be a massive boost rate during this time. As this I have a lot of Rayars as well, and I don't know if I want to switch to, to them because I feel like we're going to get a new weapon soon anyways. From March 13th. A drop item preset skill rate plus 150%. Hot mask man is not. Yeah, the booster's still a joke. Mm -hmm. It's it's better, but it's not good. Preset skills will be easy to affix, and not only that, seasonal event weapon preset skills will be easier to enhance. <coughs> so try making various weapons. Spend your money on a seasonal weapon that won't be any good after a while. Will be held from March 6th. Log in during the campaign period to get weapon camo, handy items for okay. enhancement, special scratch tickets, star gems, and the fourth anniversary of global. Okay, yeah, I'm not. I'm not mad at that, like, um, weapon camo, master, two master cubes for free, like, yeah, sure, I'll, I'll take that. More. Be sure to log in for this fantastic content. That's fine by me. Free shit, I won't complain. Up, here's some info on a new collab. NGS will have a collab campaign with the TV anime Ruroni Kenshin. Wait, why is Glenn there? <laughs> why is Glenn there? What?
I mean, I'm fine with this collab, but I'm confused as to why Glenn is just drawn and why why is he so my man Glenn be looking good, not gonna lie. Glenn is a samurai. <laughs> yeah, I'm stupid. <laughs> yeah. Pleased to present the first collaboration visual fresh from the NGS artwork team. This is a collab that I'm actually looking forward to. During this collab, you'll like design wise for the outfits. Avatar items for dressing up like Kenshin Himura and Kaoru Kamiya. Weapon camo based on Kenshin's trademark weapon, Sakabato, reverse blade sword, and motion change items inspired by Kenshin's actions in the original work. Isn't like the creator of this super problematic as well? Why why is PSO2 only like collabing with super problematic people? <laughs> <laughs> Niji Sanchi, now this? It's not a good look. It's not a good look. <laughs> Currently, Rurouni Kenshin, the Hokkaido arc, is serialized in Jump Square. This new anime has reconstructed the original story from the first episode using the latest animation techniques. That's all for this episode of NG. I need my inhaler. <laughs> I need my inhaler. Where's my puffer? It's in my bed. PS headlock. That's how I feel about your headline. On this program and the game using the hashtag NGS headline on X. Together, we can make NGS an even more fantastic game. You can. I don't know about me, bitch. Oh. <laughs> As a representative of the users, I will continue to work with the development team to make. I have no qualms against Hero. He's 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 doing his best. He's just the messenger. The next episode of Headline will be on. All right, that was really fucking short. Uh, so that's the headline for Global. What about headline for uh PSO to Japan? Let's see. You don't shoot the messenger. No, we don't. Oh, I don't like this new chat replay thing. Okay, what what does what does Japan get that we don't? <laughs> okay, we know. Oh. They're not getting any. Mm. They're not getting anything new that we're... Okay, cool. Not Nothing new. The boss that they show in the thumbnail, April. Yep, April. Okay, I'm gonna go back and look at the fashion now so that we can make this uh, tier list. Playback speed, slow. Let's go slow, baby. Alright. Quest type. Don't care. I want fashion. There you go. Bada bing, bada boom. Here are some of the fashion coming out. <coughs> Yay, update information. Because they show those things so fucking fast. Alright, T1 PJs. You want to look like you're sleeping because it's a sleeper month? Here you fucking go. Sleeper month it is, baby. Sleeper month it is. I'm taking screenshots of the outfit so we can do a scuffed up tier list. Makes sense why they make casual shit, because the game fucking casual is... Fuck.
<laughs> also, I hate the hair. I fucking hate the hair on this bitch. Like, her bangs look oily as fuck. <clears throat> Wash your hair, stinky ass. The boyfriend shirt is fucking cute, though. Not gonna lie. The boyfriend shirt is fucking cute. And yes, the boyfriend shirt is available for the guys, so the guys can wear their boyfriend shirts. Boyfriend shirts for everyone, bitch. Yeah, this hair. I don't like it. The bangs. Horrible. Horrible, horrible, horrible. Likely just add my own bangs. Yeah. Conclusion, everything is F tier. No need for... Yeah, well, I, I, I gotta I gotta do content, so I gotta do a, a tier list, so bear with me. Bear with me. TV head best item. <clears throat> it's pretty sick, yeah. Hair bun, hair accessories. Okay, so lashes. These are like individual lashes. Which... Uh, I hope they cost one, because imagine how many you need just to make like an actual like decent look. I hope it they cost one item and no more. No more than one. Derpy glasses and derpy belt. Necklace and earring. Bag. Bag. Tattoos, ba 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 ba. This though, this this though, Woo -hoo. I like that. I like that. Bodysuit is good. Sorry, we're just going through as I take screenshots. Female to male port. No, that's that's pretty much all that's happening. Female to male port. This makeup. Wow. Okay, so there's three different makeup. There's face crack, face scar, and um, <clears throat> over powdered face. Eyebrows. I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna bother with the eyebrows. All right. Eyes. Those eyes are sexy. Are those supposed to be eyes? Because these look like any other eyes that we have in the game. Okay, and then the bottom two are like eyelashes. Fucking mid. Mid eyelashes. The red eyes, though. The red eyes look okay. I'm just glad that they're doing more Skelras, right? Skelras. We're getting more, at least. You can you can change. You can change the color of the pupil, but not of the Skelras. <clears throat> Okay, this emote is kind of cute. Like, it's it's a cute emote. It's cute.
So many eyes I want to use, but no black scleras. Yeah. Another cute emote that will be like actually this one will be annoying to fucking work with. I can already tell. Gather energy. It just looks like you're like laying out a huge fart. <laughs> it just looks like you're letting out a huge fart, bruv. Let me put some music. Let's listen to some music. Just so that it's not fully quiet in here. Yeah. Do, do, do. Hey, Yumi, you're going to open your wallet for us, right? There's a few weapon camos that we want. <laughs> Let's... Yumi's already yelling. <laughs> He's already yelling. He's dying on the inside. He's like, oh. Hey, yo. Bye for everyone. <laughs> Yumi is supporting an entire fucking economy by himself alone. <laughs> uh, those idols or whatever. Don't care. Open the wallet, boy. Yumi's a G. <laughs> All right, Rappies. <laughs> Pancake. Pancake. Um, no, it was Sam Ruffalo for that specific song. Why does it have to be a hologram? Make it build parts. Some of some of them are build parts. If it's a seasonal shop, a lot of them are like build parts. Weapon camo, it's just a gun blade recolor, gun blaze. Okay, this limited time quest. I'm not mad at this limited time quest because I like that one. Okay, the special scratch. Yeah, so here, the mall sand quick is coming back. So you wanted that specific like color variant, it's coming back. Snipers are going to be annoying as fuck. Yeah. I mean... Out of all the limited time quests that we had, it was one of the good ones. <laughs> it was one of the good ones. We, the effulgent uh, color variant, I'm not mad at. This uh, recolor, yeah. Oh yeah, and there's like a new system now. You can exchange vouchers, something like that. Eh. Oh yeah, dragon parts. There you go. Dragon parts. And some new sparkle, sparkle. Sparkle, sparkle! <laughs> if you've seen that meme. 10 voucher for one ticket. Yeah, and I, I, I don't know. I don't know if that voucher is going to be... How much vouchers are we going to get? How frequent? The, the fact that the mag is just a fucking, like, Tames, like meat tames is so like sparkle sparkle and before rarer than tickets 
<laughs> this is one of the laziest mags I've ever fucking seen. Like, what the fuck? What the fuck? Yeah, new dual quest. Um, and the name of the enemy for the dual quest is... Ring Wedge? <laughs> it's still so funny to me. Ring Wedge. Whoever comes up with the name, I think you need to let them go off of your team. <laughs> the names are not really fun. The names are not really fun. Alright, SG Scratch. We're getting Aina. Aina outfit. Woo. Don't forget, Aina outfit is now also available as a T1 outfit. Ugh. I mean, her outfit doesn't look that bad, to be honest. But, like, what is this? This is a fucking joke. It's not worthy of being a T1 outfit. Her hair is fine. Yeah, the hair, the hair is good. Much better than the first hair that she had. Like... Weird ears. The horns? I, I actually like how the horns look. And then the teeth. Whatever. Yeah, I feel like they're like, oh, you're complaining that you don't have enough T1 outfits? We're just going to take T2 outfits and turn them into T1 outfits. There you go, T1 outfits. Now you can't complain, bitch. Just because you add more doesn't mean that the quality of them is good, fuckface. Also, I'm making a tier list so that I can have st stuff to make a fucking video with for the YouTube channel. That's why I'm making a tier list, even though it's not that, like, all great. It's just so that I have fucking, like, shit to pull off. Yeah, this, this month is not impressive, but I'm... Kinda, kinda saw it coming, to be honest. All right, hand motion, kitty pose. Which, like, okay, she's kind of serving right here on the floor. <laughs> Just do it! <laughs> Just do it! <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it's literally the fucking just do it emote. <laughs> I mean, like, if we look at the um, roadmap, we kind of knew that this month would be a bit sleeper, so whatever. Yeah, these camos. This month, girl, it's been every fucking month. No, not really. There's some months that I've been alright with. There's some months that I've been alright with. Ready Stance 3. Not to me. I'm I'm not even gonna bother with that emote. Alright. The only T1 outfit that looks good in this entire fucking headline is this. Fight me, sure. This is the only T1 outfit that looks cool. Snake style poses are amazing. Maybe, but I don't know. I don't have any interest in it.
<laughs> hey Sam, you gonna shoot us today? We're getting we're getting one dollar shotguns given to us today in Lethal Company. <laughs> we're gonna get a lot of fucking shooting. Yeah, we're getting we're getting cheap shotguns in the game today. We're gonna be shooting every fucking thing in lethal. This outfit is cute though. I this outfit's fine. The Idola scratch is definitely like one of the best scratches that we have this month. It's cute. I don't hate it. You'll see if you can muster any urge to give a fuck. Yeah, sure. Idola had some fun designs. Yeah. I think the designs for Idola outfits are pretty okay. I don't really care for the Popona stuff as much, but it's not bad. I'm trying to give myself content out of, like, thin air. <laughs> hey, T1 version of Popona's outfit, because that's what boys dream of. Uh, every boy wants to be a fanboy. <laughs> what the fuck is this shit? You s <laughs> Boy kisser. <laughs> boy kisser this hair is cute yeah it's all right boy kisser i don't like the popona hair the ponytail looks ugh. it's good for head yeah <laughs> it's good for ed yeah 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 Wings, shoes. All right, earrings. Socks. Is that makeup? I can't tell if this is makeup. I can't tell if it's eyes or makeup. I can't tell. You know, the stickers, though. Well done. Oof. Boobas. 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 Yeah, one of the earrings is just a wallet strap piece. It, it, yeah, yeah, pretty much. I appreciate it. This is going to be Saku's sticker. The I appreciate it, that's Saku's sticker. <laughs> there you go, that's Mommy Saku. <laughs> we got Mommy Saku as a sticker now. Yee! <laughs> Vital Gauge to me is whatever. These are whatever. This. <laughs> Sega. This is really Coomer shit right here. This is really fucking Coomer shit. But this, though. The two hottest character in this entire franchise together right here. The hot guy and the hot babe. That's a cum tribute poster. That's not a poster, my boy. That's a rug. <laughs> Those are cum rugs. <laughs> Even worse. You want to walk on some wet, crusty rug? <laughs> uh... If you see this rug in Yumi's house, do not step on it. 
Oh, that mag is cute as fuck. I like that mag. This mag, adorable. It's literally, <gasps> it's called Niyu. <gasps> it's called Niyu. Oh, that's what Niyu meant by when they said that mag is me. Oh my God, that's such a cute mag though. I like that mag. I'm probably gonna get that mag to be honest. He's adorable. Weapon camo. Mm. The rod looks good, though. The rod looks good. I... Because, like, rods. It even has her color scheme. It does. It does have Niu's color scheme. The boots are fucking hot. The boots are fucking hot. Oh, I like the boots a lot. The Idola poses. I don't know if it's new. I think it is. But eh. He's okay, I guess. I like the Idol Kara pose. The this this pose is is better to be honest. <laughs> Crotch shot. Yeah, they might be new. Hopona emo. Three and four are new. Okay. You have one and two. Okay. Oh, yeah. And then PSO2 specs bullshit, which um, those are not new, so I am not bothering with those. We're only looking at the new shit. Limited time quest. All right. And another AC scratch. Let's go. You know, this outfit is cute. Like, I won't deny that this outfit is cute. It's just when it's like the entire scratch has just been cute stuff. It's why is Hot Night not boosted? This is bullshit, right? I wish a T1 was NGS spec from the revival. Yeah, because that outfit looked good, honestly. Bunny bitch, bunny bitch, bunny this, bunny that. The bunny outfit looks okay. I hope that you can remove the like stupid ass twin tails on the side because then that'll, that'll redeem. Oh my god, Easter, spring, wow. I don't care. Spring just means that I stay indoors because I have mad allergies. I ain't going out. <laughs> you think I'm going to go out because springtime? Nah, I'm going to die. That hat is cute. I like that hat. That hair, that hair is just a remake, right? Yeah. Boots, more, more boots, because we all we get is boots. We need more high heels. We need actual high heels. The, the green dress, I don't know, uh, it's just like so-so to me. Cast part, some whatever the fuck that piece of hair is. Hmm. 
wings. Wings and a fucking badge. That bracelet doesn't look bad, but it's it looks very plain. Also, that sword. What? <laughs> what? Comfy casual. Yeah. Yeah, I can see. Okay, yeah, I can see that. The flower necklace, I think, is poorly executed, but the uh, ribbon bow tie is pretty cool. Okay, so the tears. So from what I'm understanding, this right here, the eyes accessories... Because, like, this is a regular pair of eyes underneath, but it seems to hide that, and then you can add your own slit pupils. So you can have your own slit pupil designs now? No, 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 no. I don't think it's a contact. I don't think it's a contact. I think it's just the split pupils. I think it's just the pupils. Because those eyes are... SG scratch eyes that came with Slayer. Oh, Iris. I is Iris the word I'm looking for? Okay, Iris, the the black part. The Iris is. The item. Pup God damn it, some. Pupil. Pupil. Yeah, okay, pupil was the word that I was looking for. Pupil is the word. <laughs> the iris is the colored part, the pupil is the black part. But yeah, I think I think it's the black part. And if it can be colored, if you have some eyes that are just like one color and you want to have like a white slit, you could have that. Or even use it as like a highlight, I don't know. But see how it moves? Because like this contact... Um, the eye itself is something from the SG Scratch that already came out. Okay, socks. This... Socks? Those guys- the eyes are good, but I want glowing. Those are not even eyes, though, it's an accessory. Also, hi, Zay. We're just doing like a quick recap so that I can make a fucking tier list out of it so that I can uh, make content out of it, I guess. <laughs> All right. So these eyes are cute with the little flowers in the middle. Cute, cute eyes. These are lashes, eyebrows, eyebrows. Okay, don't, don't care. Don't care. Eh, 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 Splatoon. <laughs> Get Splatooned. Hello, Holy. This emote is so what the fuck. <laughs> this is so what the fuck. Yeah, I hate that they're taking emotes and turning them into idols. It's super fucking lazy. Egg. Egg. <laughs> Just egg. Here's an egg. Ride the egg. Weird.
This is weird. Here's an egg. Ride the egg. Okay. Blah, 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 blah. All right, this, this is the last part of fashion that we have for this. Okay. New Pokemon patch tier list. Woo. Create a single use template. All right, let's go. Scratching. Scratch. By. Meh. What? Burn it. All right, there you go. The new all idols are not static. Well, I still feel like it's kind of lazy because a lot of them are just emotes. All right. You exceeded the max. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Do you mean? You've exceeded the max limit. No. I think the fuck not. I really only put 26 images, like 21 images. No, no, no. I can put more. Oh, this one was accidentally added twice. Well, whatever. Whatever. Oh, God. I fucking forgot where we were. Uh, because they're not adding them in fucking chronological order. Oh my god. Why are you doing this to me, game? Well, there might be some freaking... might be some doubles and that's okay all right square images landscape let's, let's go landscape okay presentation mode wow you really got rid of all my shit <laughs> <laughs> hydrate all right let's go <sighs> Scratch. What the fuck just happened? Bro. <laughs> My <laughs> opera just went. Okay, cool. Cool, thank you. <laughs> they really don't want me to make this shit. Okay. Scratch. Masetta by. Meh. What the hell? Burn it. Yeah, Opera just like randomly crashed. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. It happens.
Okay, now we have everything in here. Change background color to be a bit lighter because I am fucking blind. Okay. All right, let's go. Tattoos. How do we feel about the tattoos? I'm feeling pretty mad about these tattoos. They don't look that exciting to me, to be honest. So that's a meh for me. Meh, Maceta by. The colors of it just looks eh. That's this why I'm like, mm. This is a Maceta by for me. This looks very interesting. I missed the monthly thing for PSO2. Um, yeah, so it's a headline. So pretty much we react to what happens in the game and all that jazz. You can always watch it yourself. It's um, PSO2. You can watch it right here yeah the only thing i'm imagining is the ba so the ba for me is like yeah this is if it's cheap i'll buy it with Masetta. if it's not cheap meh meh what the hell um the pat outfit the pat is mad. Those boots. Those boots. Scratch, 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 baby. Those boots are hot. The hair is mad to me. Oh, yeah. These are like some new eyes, which like what the burn this burn that. Let's set a buy. Makeup, meh. Shoes are always good to me. What the hell is that? Uh, maybe Masetta buy. This is a Masetta buy for me. This is a scratch. I know. I know that this is technically like free, but looks good. Burn this. shoes this 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 specific shoes is the armor body paint popona hair to me is meh popona shoes popona shoes are a bit better than those loafers so i'll put it at masita by you know the teardrop clips can be used as hair ornaments e if we can move them if we can move them if we can't move them it's not going to be worth it. Hopefully, but yeah. The egg emote is so fucking weird to me. Boyfriend shirt. Yeah, I like the boyfriend shirt. The boyfriend shirt is like one of the things that I like. But like, because the the boyfriend shirt is an outerwear, so you can like layer it with a lot of shit. So I'm happy with that. I'm pleased with that. Cast parts for me, it's meh. Those ears look. Mm. But yeah, the boyfriend shirt is an outer. Yeah, yeah, it's an outer, so it can be layered with a lot of outfits. So like. You can wear, like, a skirt with the boyfriend shirt. You can wear, like, some jeans. Like, you, you can make it work so it has multi-purpose. This outfit is a bit meh to me. This this necklace looks cute. This is what the hell. What the hell. What the hell. I hate this hair with a fucking passion. The fucking bangs bug me so much. This hair is just... A remake of a hair we already have this yeah I like this hair this hair could care less oh um, this pose what the hell <laughs> meh 
There's a lot of mess stuff in here. This is cute. This is cute. I personally would not use it, but I think those eyes are really cute. TV head. TV head is good. No qualms about TV head. Those little hair clips are cute. I'll I'll definitely buy them. Um, hair bun. Hair bun is Masetta by. The bunny hair, bunny hair, depending on, it depends. The, the bunny hair is like between meh and between what the hell to me. The pancakes, the pancakes are cute. <laughs> like, they're just pancakes and they're going to be a free item. It's whatever to me. The one T1 outfit that looks good. We get in that, boys. The sparkles looks like it has potential to me. Dragon parts. I'm always happy for more dragon parts. I feel like we could always have more dragon parts. Um, the outer for, okay, so this, this is pretty much, there's a, the short pants and, sh and long pants. It's pretty mad to me. I don't know what the ornaments are, so it's mad to me. Um, socks, meh, nothing interesting here. What the hell is this hair flippy do? The wings. Yeah, sure. The wings looks interesting. This is... I don't like this. Um, weapon camo. Meh. This is meh. This outfit is meh to me. Uh, this dress is also meh to me. This outfit, this outfit, I know that I'll be able to work it. So the T T2 version of this outfit is okay. The T1 version of it is what the hell. I'm busy. I can't be looking at your messages when I'm busy. Don't give me attitude. I like this whip and camo. I'm going to get that. This outfit. Yeah. Popono outfit is meh to me. Scratch. Scratch. If you don't have um, the uh, accessories, then yeah, some accessories in there are okay. The hair is meh. This accessory. I don't really care about it being an accessory form. This outfit is fine. This is an accessory. Yeah, this is fine. Okay, this this outfit. Hell yeah. Uh cast parts, meh. Wings, meh. Ina's outfit, yeah, sure. T1 Ina outfit, burn that crap. This emote is cute. Those earrings are alright. Popona's outfit, meh. Oh, the T1 outfit, Popona outfit. Burn it. <laughs> Burn that one to the ground. Burn that one to the ground. So yeah. Uh, pretty much how I feel about this one. The wings are a weapon. No, this, this, this one right here I know is a weapon. This one is a weapon. Um, the wings here are, these wings are not a weapon. These wings are an accessory. This right here is the weapon. Yeah. So this is pretty much my tier list for it. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? What the hell? Oh, I love how scuffed this is. <laughs> Pretty much the same. Yeah. God, why is it so scuffed? Mm. All right. Popona stuff would be scratched here for me, but yeah, pretty much the same on my end. 
Yeah, I mean, like, the Popona outfit, to me, personally, is kind of a meh. Might be a Masita buy, but I'd ha I'll have to see how it, like, looks on my character. Because the thing with my character is that not all outfits are great. Mostly want the Idola emotes and the goth outfit. The goth outfit. Oh, like, this one right here? Like, the one with the shorts? Why isn't that bad? Yeah. The Idola stuff, to me, look, looked pretty great. But the T1 version of the outfits that we've gotten today were kind of, like, very shit. Only the, the, the got, the Lily the got, like, Shoda looking outfit. That one looked better fitted for T1 compared to Popona and Aina, which are, like, lazy. This one feels more unisex. That's why it's not in the burn it tier. The rib cage skirt on top of that. Ooh, yeah, that wouldn't be that wouldn't be bad. Yeah. I can see that. For me, like the the slipper shoes, those are like really cute and I can see myself use those because that's just nah, that's just like you me. fuckhead. That is the stupidest thing you interpreted there. <laughs> those earrings, actually. I might buy those earrings. They look simple. They look cute. I love earring accessories. No qualms there for me. This mag, actually. I like the mag. I like the mag a lot. <laughs> I like the mag a lot. So, yeah, I... I think that's, I think that's pretty much it for me. It's pretty much like things that I would spend money for is like in the top, top, like the boots, the boots are fucking hot. The boots are like chef kiss. No complaints from me from those boots. I will try to get them myself, or I will get you me to get them for me. <laughs> but yeah, I think with that, I'm good to wrap up. Don't forget that um, if you are a part of the a lethal company crew don't forget that we have a game tonight um if you're not part of the crew don't worry about it this this is not me hosting this is just a reminder for the people that are usually playing with us yeah this is just a, a psa <laughs> So yeah, don't forget to update. The code is out. So the code is out. Uh, the game is in like four hours. So yeah. If you haven't signed up, don't forget to sign up if you want to join us. Or just join us like whenever. You know, just let us know. We're doing, um, well, Haunted is doing, like, monster control, which I've tested with him, and it it was pretty brutal being the only person that he could torment. So, it's gonna be fun. You guys, it's gonna be fun. We're gonna have shotguns on hand. We're gonna go crazy, baby. So, yeah. Um... Let's see who we can raid. Oh my god. This bitch got mad tits. Um, anyways. <laughs> I'm just looking at the Twitch page and I just saw someone with like a lot of tits and I was like, whoa. Boobas. <laughs> Boobas. Hmm. 
I'm just trying to see who I can raid. I'm going to keep it within PSO2 so that we can see more people. Um, I never raided this person, so... Alex... All right. Never raided this person, so let's go show them some love. Here's the raid call. And, um... Yeah, thanks for hanging out with me today on this very, uh meh headline but it's okay we'll try to make the most out of it we'll be playing pso2 tomorrow on stream as usual so if you want to hang out and play pso2 tomorrow is the day and as for what we're doing on friday i'm not entirely sure yet i might try to see if i can play a different game because we've been playing like the three same games which is like lethal cult and dot age so i'm gonna see i'm gonna look at my steam library and see if we can play something else actually maybe kingdom because kingdom 80s came out and i never got to play it so i'd like to play some of that so yeah thanks for hanging out and um I'll see y'all tomorrow where we will play in the fucking game ourselves. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for checking the headline with me. Thanks for sharing your opinion. And yeah. Have a good rest of your day. Don't shit your pants. Bye-bye. <laughs>